Hey children, welcome to Passing Sure Looks Easy series and this is your 2020 edition. And this question, we are going to talk a little bit about something called TFNPTT. You know what's that, right? Of course, you know lah, huh? So down here, let's take a look at the table below. All right, it shows the number of books read by a group of students from Edit Tuition. And there are 45 students who read at least two books. Huh? What's the meaning of at least two books? All right, the meaning of at least two books means it can be either two, three, or four books. It's just like when you ask your mommy, Mommy, can you give me at least $10 for school today? Then you are expecting a what? You are expecting at least, right, a $10 note from your mommy, right? If your mommy give you $12, okay, thank you, mommy. If your mommy give you two pieces of $10, that's $20. Oh, thank you, thank you, mommy. But at least two, at least $10 means what? You are expecting a minimum of $10. That is the meaning of at least $10. So down here, similarly, at least two books means what? It can be two, it can be three, or it can be four in this situation. Is that okay? Okay, so down here, the next clue is talking about 45 students, right? So 45 students actually belongs to this portion, right? The two books, three books, four books add up together. Let's take a look at the column for the eight students and zero books, Ken. How do you read it? You read it as there are eight students who each read zero book. Means what? Never read la, lazy. All right, the next column, there are seven students who each read one book. And the third column, there are 20 students who each read two books. Cool? All right. So this is how you read it. Better to understand what the table is telling you so that you can answer the information. You can answer the question later. Can? Okay. So now I like to use something called KPO to find out more clues for myself. From here, what can you find out? I can easily find out the total number of students who took part in this survey, right? So there are eight students who each read zero book. There are seven students who each read one book. And there are 45 students who read either two, three, or four books, right? So if I add them up together, it will be what? Eight plus seven plus 45 will give you a 60 students. So there are a total of 60 students who participated in this survey. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, what else can I find out? Can you see the cloud place? Yeah. So we have the number of students, 45 students who read either two, three, or four books, right? Correct. Eh, we know that the number of students who read two books are 20, right? So how many students read either three or four books there? Eh? Ah, you simply take 45 minus a 20 to give you a 25 students. Is that okay? So these are the extra information to answer the question at the back. Let's go. So down here, you're supposed to read the statement properly and put a tick either on the true, false, or not possible to tell column. Is that okay? Yeah, let's go. So the very first statement, each student did not read any books. Daisy. Correct, not? correct, correct. Just now they already said already, eight students who each read zero books. Ah, that is a definite correct. That's a true statement. Is that okay? The second statement, there are 80 students all together. Sure. Just now we found only 60 students all together. What? Right. How can it be 80? So it's a confirm what? Confirm wrong, right? Then put false. Lah. Is that okay? And let's take a look at the third statement. The number of books, sorry, the number of students that read three books and four books are the same. Ah. Means that there are equal numbers for the three books and four books, is it? Eh? Just now we found that what? The clouds, right? Represents what? 25 students, remember? 45 students read at least two books, means two, three, and four. There are 20 students who read two books each. So 45 minus 20 is 25 students who read either three or four books, right? Is that okay? So the total down there is 25. The clouds is 25. Huh? So if they are saying the number of students that read three books and four books are the same, means that what? Kacha! 25 divided by two is 12.5. Huh? So, so there are 12.5 students who each read three books and there's another 12.5 students who each read four books. Huh? Really? Huh? So 0.5 means you're going to cut one of the students into half. Huh? Wow, that's savage, man. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Do not have this thinking. Do not cut people up into two. Is that okay? So is this possible or not? Can you have 12.5 for the three books and 12.5 on the four books or not? It's just not possible, right? If it's not possible, what happens? You have to simply put it as a false because it's not possible. 
All right, you can have other combination like what? In order to make 25, maybe I can have a 13 and a 12. 13 plus 12 is 25, right? You can have a 20 and a 5. That is a 25, right? You add up to become a 25. Can you see or not? All right, so you cannot cut people into half, please. All right, please do not have this thinking. All right, and this type of question, yes, true, false, MPTT, this type of question is getting a little bit more popular. You've seen it in 2019, you see it in 2020, and next year, definitely come out again. Lah. Huh? So you must know how to answer this type of question. All right? If it's a definite truth, just put true. Lah. Wrong means what? False. It's not possible. Ah. Not possible to take that. Can, uh, not possible at all. Just put a false. But sometimes you don't know. Maybe not enough information. All right? The question never gives you enough clue. So how? That one is called not possible to tell. Is that okay? All right, that is the end for this question from Passing Sure Looks Easy series. And this is Ben Ong from 88 Tuition signing off. Do catch the other videos. There's more to come. See you.